So I'm doing a little bit of holiday prototyping for my Year 12 Design Tech uh, class next year. Um, I'm going to do a game controller design project and having a look at using Arduino to interpret uh, some button presses, pushes and um, joystick movement and send that to a PlayStation or um, a USB and I've just tested a Arduino using the UnoJoy um, firmware uh, and that changes the, the Arduino into a um, HID USB device so that it can be plugged into the PlayStation um, and I'm just doing the same thing, doing a bit of testing on the uh, Sparkfun Pro Micro now that chip that it has on it is the same as the um, Arduino Leo so I thought I'd try and uh, change the code a little bit to try and test it out with this device just because it's so small that that um, whole board could be integrated into a circuit board design that the boys do and I've got uh, just my joystick platform and remote platform from my teaching innovation website so I'll just uh, stack these together Sorry, so stack that one on and uh, stack on the remote platform too and that all needs to go into these little headers on the breadboards um, and this isn't obviously how I designed these boards to work but it's just a bit of prototyping and it seems to uh, work alright just to get the wires joined into the, the Pro Micro to the right pins um, I haven't made a circuit board yet but I probably will make something up um, pretty shortly as a, a basic board as an option and I've got uh, just an F1 game up there on the PlayStation so I've got uh, X cross triangle and circle and then just the left joystick and that's also connected to the start button so just press continue I've actually got that in the wrong way around so let's quickly take that out make sure none of those wires come out this was around the wrong way when I put it in There we go. So I just, sorry, had the um, breadboards the wrong way around, so the Pro Micro was uh, sitting the wrong way. So you can go into the race using X. And obviously, I'm going to need a few more buttons uh, on any controller we design. It's only got the four buttons plus the button that's attached to the joystick, so five and the and the movement. Um, so for racing games, it sort of seems okay, um, depending on what buttons you've got connected. But uh, I tried it with something like Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto before, and obviously you need a few more buttons for uh, all the different actions that uh, the, the character can take. So I can change the view with X and you can see the steering there and it's analog so it uh, doesn't go all the way straight away, it's, it depends on how much you move it across. Accelerator on X. Probably cheated a little bit for a few places there. But anyway, you can see that uh, that's working quite well with the PlayStation. Thanks.